Hello and welcome. My name is Nick Burnham, or Nostalgic One, here on the internet, and welcome back to A Medieval. We're going to play episode 3 today. Uh, I looked it up um, to see exactly which one is episode 3, because right now we have a few choices. I believe we could either go to uh, Astral Equinox or Solar Solstice, um, or Arcane Expanse, maybe. It's, it's some of those. Uh, but we finished. Uh, Domain of the Sentinels last time, which was episode 2, and uh, the Sacred Path is episode 3. So we're going to start that today. And we could play these out of order, it seems like, but um, I'd, I'd rather have the steady ramp and difficulty, so here we go. Journeyman's Way. That was an interesting teleport. There was like a lot happening there. So it seems like this is some kind of wind tunnel. Got some oddly placed health pickups here in these corners. I like the sprites though. If they are, they're probably models, that, but I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, it's an interesting tunnel. It's like overgrown moss on the inside. On this lower tunnel, it's like this clean stone. It's interesting. This aesthetic looks more like the the level select areas with the giant blocks and like the they're not hieroglyphics but they look kind of like hieroglyphics to me those lines and I like these fire pits a lot good torch sound so uh, take it slow oh we've got like moss growing in the Oh. <laughs> Splat, you died. Okay. Uh, good to know. It's so weird that they drop you into a wind tunnel and then back out. I don't think I've ever seen that before. But Cool. So, I'm not sure what, it's, what that's meant to be down there, but now we know it's death, so I'm going to try to be careful. Yeah, this definitely seemed like a secret. So we know this rocket launcher takes out those stone guys in one hit, which is good. This is kind of a more somber area than the last two. What is this guy? Some kind of fireman. Hmm, we've got some more orange mana up there. guys are, so it seems like these guys are made of elements or something. Maybe. I still have the, I still have mana for the mace. Yeah, I forgot we had that already. So they're changing up the order of what items we pick up by quite a bit. I don't suppose I can make that jump. Yeah. Um... Make this one though. Seems like we're gonna want to use this weapon a lot. Not on these guys though. It's weird because the mace is like number six, and the rocket launcher's number five, so it's kind of pretty far up on the numpad. since I only have two weapons available right now. See, that's overkill too. What's this say? Find the gold key to ascend. So we got a switch. This looks much more puzzly and non-linear than before, which is interesting. So that lowers this walkway. Gold key thing. Yep. Got these kind of diagonal staircases. They look vaguely Escher like. I don't think we're going to get any infinite staircases in here though. <laughs> uh, let's check out over here maybe. 
This just leads down to where we were before. Uh, I don't. Did we go up here yet? I don't think so. Okay, got some more mana. Might be some secrets back here. Here's some dudes. That looks like. How do we even get that? Maybe this opens later? It's kind of weird. So, so far those golems don't seem very threatening, but maybe they are if you get close to them. Okay, we were able to fit into that one. That's not letting me fit into these alcoves. I'm not sure if that's intended or not. This looks like a big elevator shaft, most likely. There's some text down there, too. I like that they're standing on the ceiling. It's kind of weird that that one started bleeding, though. <laughs> What's this say? The protectors cannot stand weapons of chaos. One more to go. I'm guessing the other switch is probably down here. Uh-oh. These guys are even more aggressive than in the previous stage. They're like much faster. So the fire dudes shoot at us with three horizontal fireballs. Or fireballs in a line, I guess. Let's see what this says. Three switches to reveal the key. Uh, can't press that one. But we know where the gold key is now. I'm gonna guess it's down here. So this is probably where we go to pick up the key. Okay. And this takes us back out. There's a switch. That probably opens up the third one. Nice. Not too shabby. This looks like there's a secret, maybe. This area is, like, slightly confusing, but so far, I feel like I have a good grasp of the space. Just hit this. We got the trident, the bolt ride. Those who are lost never look upwards. It's true though, FPS players never look up. Ooh, Ooh those are fast. They hurt quite a bit. So it's giving us a hint. A lot of ammo too, which is nice. Can I hit this button now and grab the key? Which spawns some more enemies, of course. Now, definitely keeping me on my toes with these enemy spawns. Uh, the door was over here. I think we could probably head back and use the key. Or we could explore a little bit more. Try and grab this health at least. I like how this kind of looks like a face too. <laughs> I wonder what that text is referring to though. About looking upwards.
Maybe I already figured out what it was trying to get me to do. Okay. Did we get that text? I don't know if I got that one yet. That might be... It's not the gold key one. Journeyman's way leads to the Apostle Shrine. Okay. Probably take this up. I oh, know it goes down. There's the sword. This is a really nice space. Wow. It takes five shots from the sword to kill those guys. planet gun is still going to be <laughs> our best bet, I think. I like how they come out of the walls, though. It's really cool. Some more orange ammo. Uh, okay. Yep, I thought I heard another one for him. It's kind of cool how they, like, morph in behind you. This one and this quick. Oh shit! That's a lot of damage. I want to get that line of health though. This level is like much more contemplative than most of the last ones we played, which I am digging a lot. Orange ammo. Oops. I keep assuming it's gonna be just following that line, and every time we have to turn around. I wish, like, this is a pretty easy walkway to overshoot, so I wish there was more of a guardrail. But it would kind of ruin the aesthetic they're going for a little bit. Although, admittedly, it's a pretty simple aesthetic. You can't dodge those rocks they throw in here very easily. So we're gonna go kind of up this weird staircase made of triangles. Jump to this one. It's a lot of platforming in this one too. There's our silver key, which we don't know what we're using that for yet. The way is clear yet murky. <laughs> that sounds about right. This says, fire makes the vine creatures stronger. Interesting. I don't think we've used any fire on the vine creatures yet. We might have. Okay, so here's the door. But I definitely didn't... I don't think I saw the door before we got the key. Whatever. Okay. So does that mean we're going to go underwater? No. Oops. Need to use a not splash damage weapon. There's definitely some water down here. Hello. I wonder what qualifies as fire. Is it just the planet gun? Um. Oh. that really either. Gotta go this way. It seems like there's a lot of these guys. Got our Azure Staff. Azure Orb. Yeah, there are a lot of Looks 
like. There's a secret down there with, the, with some text. These these are very tiny alcoves, which I don't think the game has really done before. Protectors lie in wait for those that would traverse the sacred path. This one says, path before you, the path that you see is before you, you must ascend. Doesn't seem like... Bolt Ride is going to do much damage to these guys either. They gave me a lot of health though, which is nice. Grab this one. There's a ton more ammo down there. It's probably that secret we saw from outside. Ooh, big blue. Anything else? Quick saving a lot in here because I feel like I could die pretty easily. I don't know what that did. Hmm. Must descend. Oh. I guess I made a path over here. Gold key, which we already did. So now what? We have to keep ascending, I'm guessing. I don't think we went this way yet. Yeah, this seems. Whoa, that's pretty steep. Oops. Oh no, we did go this way, didn't we? Yeah. I remember this. Maybe we didn't. It's just mirrored from the other side. Look at the lighting effects like, coming off of him. It's pretty cool. Did we go this way? Yeah, I feel like this is the same. They just put more enemies in here. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Definitely a puzzle. Oh, so we opened this path too. So, I'm not sure how. I'm not sure if that was the intended path, but whatever, we made it. There's probably a lot of stuff that I'm missing too. Let me grab this. Okay. I like all these triggered walkways a lot. Are we gonna fight more on here? That looks like a path too. And I don't remember if I went up it or not. This might not actually be a real path. I guess not. It sure does look like one, though. Maybe it's just meant to be a recovery path if you fall off. Well, there's some text here, though. By dusk, only $20 on Steam. Aw, cute. Uh, did we screw ourselves? I'm not sure how to get back now. Well, that text is pretty cute. Oh, okay. There's just a little ramp there. I like that. <laughs> I already own Dusk, which, and if you like how this game is playing so far, you should definitely go play Dusk as well. I might have to stream that too, because I haven't finished that game yet either. But it's really good as well. It's, uh,. I mean, it plays pretty similar to this, except it uses traditional guns rather than 
Magic items. Oh, that's an elevator. Yeah, with these switches, a lot of the time it's hard to tell what they're actually going to activate. And I feel that like that vocabulary is a little different from what we saw in the last episode, because the elevators were pretty clearly marked as these like circular platforms before, and now we're triggering them with switches, which is a little different. But you know, that's fine. I like this level a lot so far. It's just it's a big one. Uh, these guys. That's number five. I like that he can jump pretty far, too. I'm just missing a lot. What the, ooh, he just, like, jumped over my shot completely. I don't know if that was intentional or if he was, like, jumping over the steps. That was pretty cool, though. Oop, there's a jump here. And another way forward there. Go over here first. Okay, we got our BFG. The Aeternum. I gotta start learning the names of these weapons. Uh, but this is. It's nice to have this so early. Yeah, I don't have any qualms about using it on those guys, really. Is there a fall here? Nope. These are kind of bullet spongy, but I like that they have different movement and attack patterns than any of the other enemies we've seen so far. Doesn't look like there's anything else up here. It's like a secret over here. Large green mana. Oh, we got invisibility. That's cool. I don't know if we've gotten that in this game so far. Probably like hidden switches in this level too that we're just not finding. I wonder how long this invisibility is gonna last. Probably not all that long. Says the giant protects the way. Oh gosh. Invisibility just ran out, so I think that's only super useful if you know what's coming. It's kind of a waste to use the bolt right on these golems, I think, because it, it takes up so much ammo, but I don't feel too bad about it. Scoring on them too, I guess. It's cool. I, think I just heard another one. This looks like a secret, maybe. No, they're just like displaced slightly. I don't think I found like any secrets so far. It's crazy. Even the dusk 
reference wasn't a secret. <laughs> um, good, got a mega health. Yeah, let's grab more health. Uh, there's some purple mana up there too. I'm gonna try and get. I like that we can look down and see the rest of the level too. Yeah, I think that's where we came in. Okay. Is there a good way to get that ammo? Um, not really sure. I don't think I'm actually going to need it that bad, but... It's kind of a shame not to pick it up. Uh, we could try rocket jumping up there, since I have so much health right now. I haven't done a, been doing a lot of that this level. Seems like that's probably going to be out of reach, though. Oop. Seems doable. There. Uh, now we've got a ceiling. There. Large purple mana gives us... How much exactly? Seven shots. Okay. So that's really good. Now I can pick up this health. <laughs> I don't know if that was the intended way to pick up that purple mana, but I'm going to make it work. Got another arena space already. Path opens from below. Got another big one. So just shoot some fireballs at me. Pretty slow though. I hear a weird buzzing sound over here. I wonder what that is. One more to go. She'll be on the other side. instantly. <laughs> Worth it, I guess. Okay, here's our underground path. the ramps on the sides of this pit, but that's okay. That was a long level. 27 minutes, damn. Okay, we, didn't, we missed a kill too, huh? Probably one of those rock monsters. But. That was fun, I like that level. Can't we believe we missed all the secrets too. Apostle Shrine. So we made it to the Apostle Shrine from the Sacred Path. Oops. 
probably could have spent an hour in that last level and not found all the secrets. Dude's gonna pop out of the walls. The Apostle Shrine is a test of skill. Thank you. I like that secret. It's like it's like pretty easy to miss. But not so difficult to find. Um, I'm trying to put more of those in my own levels. Okay. I like the bird sounds too. What is that? Is that an enemy? Yep. Sweet. Oh, hello. Looks like it's going to drop at some point. Ooh, there's a whole different space down there. I like that. Some extra health pickups. He is to look. Truth. Some more invisibility. Ah, <laughs> I knew it. It's like that wall looks different than anything else we've seen so far. That's pretty funny. I haven't seen, well, at least I haven't found too many of those, like, textured wall secrets so far, but there had to be at least some of them. Now, how is he not dead? I hit him, like, four times. Oh, so maybe when, maybe what that text was referring to is when the plant guys get hit by the fire guys, then they get stronger. Maybe that's how it works. They, like, get health back or something. I thought it was referring to my own weapons, but I think it was referring to the enemies. And that's why that guy didn't die. Can we cut the rope? weigh it down or something? This is pretty weird. Ah! Thank you. Mana boost. Sweet. Was that for all my mana? Dang. We have a ton of mana now. That's awesome. Switch. Any other secrets in this room? Probably. Got more of this weird, like, space electronic music going on. Which I'm pretty into. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what is that? Damn. Got flying Andros faces. That's a cool way to introduce an enemy, too. Yeah, that's the bad part of. Like, the mace is not good at long range. Because the spikes spread out so much.
Okay. Guess we gotta drop. How many secrets have we found? Three out of eight so far. So, doing a lot better than the last level. Hello. Gotta love the reflections on the ceiling. Just looks really nice. Looks like we spawned some more. I hear some more guys, yep. Mana boost, I'm feeling pretty great. Got another. It's like a floating platform, I think. I thought it might be another cube that they were gonna drop on us, but. Oh, here we go. So we got an elevator here that I'm not gonna take quite yet. So we definitely wanna swim around first. Secrets. Well, this stuff doesn't even have collision. Seems like. So, might not be anything down here. Okay. These buttons look so flat from far away, but then when you get up close, you can see they have depth. It's just interesting. We can go this way. Definitely more stuff to do over here. I'm gonna use the mace so I don't blow myself up. <laughs> nice close range encounters. Ooh, there's like a coliseum looking shape over there. Let's see the azure orb. Ooh, we got fish for the first time. That's cool. I like gem fish. I like how they move. It's cool. Just like in Quake, they're like not very threatening, but... I'm guessing we don't have to hold our breath, but I guess we'll find out. There are a lot of them. Though. Maybe we will soon. There's a lot of fish. Here's our gold key. Our secret. Picked up like two legendary souls in this level already. Haven't really had cause to use them. Uh, this looks like a secret maybe? No. Do I want to go out this way? Oh god. Yeah, so it's like good to shoot that close to where you know the enemies are going to be and try not to overshoot because it doesn't collide with enemies, it just collides with the geometry. So you could like shoot it at your feet maybe. Reflection of water only shows the surface. Hmm. Oh. So that's like trying to show you, or get you to see these holes maybe? Because we know there's another one that we weren't able to swim up into, so maybe we can swim down. Is this it? That's the one we came in. I'll pick up the 
orange mana. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Cool. That's a nice clue, I think. Though, if you got there by swimming, it's like you already knew what it was trying to tell you. It's fine. So now we can hit the switch. Can hear some enemies, maybe? Oof. Yeah, I thought it was one of them. Guys, again. I must escape the darkness. I like that there's like random quotes, like Ratman quotes from Portal. <laughs> I want to do more of that in my own like Quake levels too, and I know that's not really a thing that people like to do that often, even in modern Quake stuff, but I think. It can, it can lend more to the atmosphere and just like the fun of the levels. The pure soul is like water. And like it's totally doable because you can add a message to any brush and quake, I think, so. You can put signs all over the place if you really wanted to. That guy. Oh, he's dead. Oh, I thought I killed him. Okay. These spaces are so huge. Yeah, I can't duck under that. Hard to land on that. I feel like we can still fall through these cracks here. Yeah. So I'm trying to be careful. Is this a big orange mana? Yeah. And then we could probably up here. This is going to hurt a lot. Okay. Um, there's a pathway over there. There's a message we probably missed. There's a ton of stuff. Hey, we did it. Ah. Probably don't have to be rocket jumping to these spaces, but it's kind of fun to try. This looks like maybe a secret again. So now I don't know, like, which of these are actually secrets anymore. We're not even supposed to be able to get out here. Yeah. Can we get through this window? I don't think so. Like, I don't think there's a point to it. There's some health. Kind of a weird little courtyard. Let's see if that comes back. Oh, uh, oh I thought that was going to be a switch, but it's a uh, mega health. I do really like the foliage here. Kind of growing over the temple. <laughs> it splits apart.
Hmm. Oops, what the heck? He came out of nowhere. Pure soul is like water. Already got it full health. There's a ton of mana around here too. Looks like this is a bridge. That's why they throw them at you in combination. Can't believe how long these levels are, though. back and see what that well is about. Okay, so it is an elevator. Is there anything else down here? It's a weird elevator. Like, it looks nice, but I'm not sure if it serves much of a purpose. Okay. Lots of switches. Let's go swimming. Lots of switches and fishes. At least we know we can survive underwater for a while. Um, there, in case you didn't get it before, you can get it here. The uh, Aternum. So I guess we just gotta go hit the switches. It's tough to get. Do we have to rocket jump to it? I don't even know if this... I mean, it seems like critical path, but... It might not even be that. Oh, so we get, like, extra momentum from jumping off the lift? Because I flew, like, really far. Ah, that's interesting. Yeah, I didn't realize that that was a thing. Well, almost. Got him. That's the only way to get the switch, though, is to realize that you have to jump before platform reaches the top. So, now where do we go? Down here? Nope. Probably back the way we came. I think it was this way. Although, did I see something up there? No. Ah, so it filled this cistern. So now this goes higher, okay. But again, not really sure what the point of this is. I 
also some fish in here. Nothing though. Hmm. Seems like there's a lot of empty spaces in this map. Which was not true about the last map, so. Man, getting out of the water is always weird. Okay. Well, this is where we were before, so. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I'm like totally lost at this point. I'm not sure. Where to go or what we're supposed to be doing. We could rocket jump up there. Okay. Oops. I kind of want to go back to that. Stay up here. Yeah, there's more around the side. Oh, we could totally get up to the top, too. Oop. Got caught on the window. I only have so much health, too. Oh, is it clipped off? Yeah, it doesn't even, it doesn't let you get up further. What am I standing on? I'm not really sure. Yeah, it doesn't let you get higher. It's kind of weird. We found six out of eight secrets. 22 minutes. I'm not really sure what to do next. Um, I know there was something back in that first big room that we didn't do. So maybe we just have to swim back there. All of this seems like pretty extraneous. But it would kind of suck if all of what we just did didn't really matter. So I guess we'll find out. It's not going to let me up. Okay. There. It's like you have to look straight up for it to let you out of the water. I think is how that's working. Okay. So we could go back to this switch. Maybe this is where we were supposed to go all along? What was that? Oh, the fire. I always forget about the fire. Oh. This is a fire is not to be trifled with. Here's another switch. Well, that was not super helpful. Huh. Yeah, this is a, a weird one. There's nothing else to do in this space. I'm just gonna assume everything before this space doesn't matter anymore. And then you go this way into the cistern, and then this raises, which lets us walk on this, which is kind of what we did already because we used the rocket jump, but maybe this is where we're supposed to go. And then that lets you go here, which lets you go here, which lets you go here. This is a dead end. This puts you back in the main room. Then you jump here and go this way. Did we not go to the end of this path already? This goes down here and around. Is it this way? Oh, it might be this way. Okay. 
Oh. Uh, yeah, I just missed this. I think we backtracked before. Hello. I like how he burst out of the ground, too. They kind of already did that with the block dropping on top of the ground, but whatever. There's another big statue guy. Let's see if we can wake him up. They're not gonna wake up yet. Maybe when we hit the switch. Oh, there's one. that if we hit that switch huh it really looks like these guys are supposed to come alive too but guess not this is the only way we can go So it like goes a short distance and then it explodes on its own. I'm still like figuring out how that gun works. It's like sort of BFG like, but not exactly. We should see what the alt fire for this gun looks like too, just for S's and G's. Oh, we didn't read this yet. Long ago, the apostle lived here. Oh. That's not what I wanted to use. Not at all. Damn. Just fly in your face. Uh, he studies the heavens and was worried. He left the place for the haven. Left this place for the haven. So I guess we'll figure out what the haven is next. No. Yeah, let's use the thing. Let's see what it looks like. Whoa! What is that? It made like a black hole? That was cool. Like, mess with my vision, too. I like that. I think. Kind of hard to tell what you're doing, but... I think it works. This looks... Oh. Yeah, these guys are annoying. through the ground. We're gonna use that as much as possible in this level. Um, really long levels compared to the first two episodes. I don't know what that did. Oh, it opened this up. It just exploded fish. Here's a switch. That did. Oh, it opened this up. Maybe. Yeah. Nice. Another giant 
space. Some of them. Ow. Oh, no, no, no. Shit. Wish I had an eternal soul to use right now. I think the chain lightning killed that plant guy for me, so. That was nice. Oh. You can't let your guard down for a second. With how big these spaces are. I don't know if I like these enemies all that much, but they're certainly more interesting than the ones we've been facing. I like the, the rock golems quite a bit, I think. Oh, another one. Don't ask me how lightning hurts a, a rock golem. We're just gonna assume it works. Hidden purple mana, that's nice. We've got like full orange mana too. As long as I don't kill myself. Should be pretty good. Uh, maybe this opens up another path. Yep. I was gonna say we could probably make that with the rocket jump, but I don't want to take more damage. Now do we just have to hit all of these? Or both of them? Kinda weird that they put those two switches. Oh, it's timed. I see. Fair enough. I think this. I mean, this is kind of a minor nuisance for me. It'd be kind of a pain if you were speedrunning. We're just gonna jump over that last pit. Well, if you were speedrunning, you would just rocket jump over both pits, I guess. You've got so much orange mana at this point in the level, probably, that you can afford to do that. One of these symbols. Oh, that was it. Nice. Again, only 99% kills. 33 minutes. <laughs> We've only gone through two levels in over an hour. It's kind of crazy.